going on. If it is on, well, it's Saturday night. And this is Astown on Tour. It's me, Steenton, and going head to head against the replacement Eurovision show with me tonight is the mayor of Astown himself, Shrinky. How you doing, Shrinks? <coughs> me, 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 me. Pretty oh, good. Is- Oh, this, I mean, we, one day we should have a singing contest. We've already had, we've already had a drag contest. Um, and tonight, actually, you know, we're, we're, we're meant to be playing a game with Philippa. But as you can see, she's not here yet. No, that's so a bit of a shame. We've agreed that what we'll do is we're going to kick off the show with our news updates and uh, then we're just going to see what happens. So thank everybody for tuning in, for being with us at the start of the stream. Who knows, maybe in future weeks, we'll get closer to our Twitch hats by having a, a little, little little pre-stream countdown or something of that nature. But right now, we're doing it the way that we always do it, right here from the Astown studio. We're going to get right into the news. Didn't mean to sound like Keemstar then, but it just happened. Um, and the first order of business, we're going to start with an old favourite, David. I just want to say hello to Doodles by Ben and Sammy who have joined us. We're going to start with an old favourite and that is this week's comings and goings. Now I haven't had any comings and goings this week. Uh, all my, you know, the Steentown baseball team, it remains, you know, in the current configuration. Uh, Midge was the last in. Midge remains, you know, a great designated hit hitter for the team. But Shrinks, you've had some changes. Now last week we learnt that Paula was li- was li- sadly leaving your island. Uh, so but I hear- sadly leaving. Yeah. Well, well, let's let's talk about that. You know, she's how do you feel now she's gone? Um, I'd like to say that a great empty void has been left and can never be replaced. But she was literally replaced by Kyle, who moved in, uh, replacing her cozy home with a kind of tin, a tin and metal house that's full of musical instruments. He seems to be uh, turning up in order to rock Palcatraz. Um, yeah, he's brought in a new wave, I'd say new vibe to the island i mean he's a cool dude i th- I believe a, f- a previous guest uh had him arrive at their island too how are you getting on with him is he aloof what kind of cool dude vibe is he giving off he is a little bit aloof um he's I, you know i do worry about his living conditions because it is quite a cool you know it's a cool environment it's got good instruments and uh you know studio setup but is that really a place that you can Live and I do know at the top of my island there is um, a campsite that's really just a bunch of cardboard boxes and a pile of leaves. And I wouldn't surprise me if maybe he's been sleeping there just to, you know, once the party's over, that's probably where he retires to. I mean, look at him, he looks like he's burning the candle at both ends for sure. I think so. Um, there's a lot of a lot's been going on this week in, in the wide world of Animal Crossing. I just wanted to like, just wanted to kind of talk about something that i'm sure i'm sure we've all seen and i want to kind of get everybody's thoughts on the stream how we feel about this all all right my all right mousy is just letting us us know that kyle left her island and he was only there for two days Mm. what 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 i think he's he looks like a couch surfer he looks like a couch surfer well beat this deals by ben says cube left me um only for after one day one that's half as many days as kyle spent on all right mousy's island that is insane. Torpor Dust also joining us. So you're all joining just in time, actually, because we're about to chat about something that I think, you know, did the rounds this week on Animal Crossing uh, and the Animal Crossing internet, which is the, the, um, the, I- I'm calling it the Dis Zootopia. There was, a, there's a, there was a, I think a Korean streamer who, um, had set up their islands as if it was some kind of, some kind of zoo in which, uh, they gave tours to uh, <laughs> to visitors in which the animals are kind of enclosed in in a uh, in what's oh enclosure enclosed in enclosures that's the word I'm looking for they were in enclosures um it totally creeped me out shrinky did you see this i did and it's it's kind of dehumanizing is what it is it when i did watch the whole i watched the whole seven minute clip i didn't watch the stream watch the whole seven minute clip which some some great user out there has subtitled and it's 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 pretty it's all done with like a lot a lot of humor and fun but it's just i just didn't like to see flora behind bars man you know flora's my friend chew, chew magma says the user should be banned <laughs> so for dust it gives him planet of the apes vibes it's polling people people are against this zoo 
depot agents yeah. is kind of funny but it makes me feel a bit yucky yeah i know i just feel like they, these guys are my friends you know what i mean i don't i don't even like to look at like visitor behavior guides or visitor gift guides because i think uh i think ho is ho who's in the chat was chatting about this uh, earlier in the week i just they're you know they're they're my real friends i can't i don't want to treat them like this all i can say is it just reminds me of back in the day if anyone played um uh theme park you know it, it was once it turned out you could build uh, fences that your theme park residents could wander into and then trap them there and then feel very bad about it i think it's just really the modern day version of that or well, people that like to trap their sims in houses and i've never exactly. i've never played the sims but you know i know there's a deep dark subculture involved and speaking of subcultures you know this is a, this this subculture's a little bit more joyful and obviously recently has uh, has some links to uh to nintendo um i only spotted the I only spotted this this week but i know that it's been um it's been on the internet a couple of weeks so it's probably a lot of people have already seen this but i seen that on lego ideas is that what lego's kind of like user submitted platform is called somebody has made a nooks cranny and david you're you're more you, are you familiar with like the lego ideas platform is that even what it's called let me know on the chat i mean i'm i'm familiar with it when things make the rounds um you know through other other websites i'm not keeping tabs on it myself this is the first time i've seen this so this is this I mean, brilliant it's really it's really really lovely yeah um I uh, so I think the way it works is something needs like ten thousand votes or something to be like considered by Lego. Lego obviously have a license with Super Mario now, so who knows? Who knows? Um, right. Who knows what might what this could come to? But I believe it's sitting there on the Lego website at like six thousand votes or something like that. So you know, it just needs four thousand more. And I'm sh oh, sorry. The current popularity of Animal Crossing permeating all forms of culture. I'm surprised it's that low. Well, this is it. This is this is the time that you, me, and the thirty-four loyal viewers that tune in every single week to this stream, let's bombard that platform because you know what you know. I need this. I'm not even a Lego fan, and I need this. Who says, "Let's go, let's go, get over there, everybody." I don't have the link. You got the Googles. It is le top top dust. It is le it's it's legit in the sense that it's on a user has made it and submitted it to Legos like user generated ideas platform so look at this pocket pod 100 would buy i'd buy this in a second i'd buy this if it was 100 pounds maybe that's too much it I probably don't... will be 100 pounds though <laughs> 100 pounds yeah, lego 100 pounds well spent depot agent says let eggs go i can't judge you know i wrote this caption on the screen right now oh someone's someone's linked the links the link the lego project get in there Brilliant let's vote work. for it everybody um, Shrinky, a final order of business in this week's news roundup um, is you went on a on a trip this week, and yeah, so you found something absolutely horrifying to me, or or something thrilling. So um, I visited the island of a work pal. We had a work uh, outing, and hopefully we're going to do another one next week. So I went to Goblin Town, and in Goblin Town we saw a model of, I think it's a, a Atlas moth. And if anyone's been collecting the models by um, or from Flick or CJ, you might have been disappointed by the size, which tend to be pretty diminutive. Even the oarfish, spoiler alert, is not very big. I found but out the... with the tarantula, as we expressed before, and the exactly. So I think this this is kind of like a public service announcement that this is this is worth going for. This is a, a really really massive model if you like moths. Or if you just like to have large models. So this is, you know, excited me. And I'm going to, instead of just running into the trees. Well, I'm always running into trees and just scaring them away. So it's going to take me a long time to get three. And if you're freaked out by them, it's going to be even harder. But I think it, look, it seems to be worth it. Um, it's definitely amazing. I was so upset when the tarantula was just a normal tarantula, but then Torpor Dust has, um, he told us to say it is a little bit bigger. Okay. And uh, the, blanket his wife has one outside her house her house and it makes him junk every time i think that's the tarantula's use maybe it's there to excite or prank people i'm quite a good tarantula catcher not a great wasp catcher so 
if somebody could have a wasp outside their house, that would probably make me freak out more in this in this here game. Um, speaking of things that freak people out, everybody, it's time for the turnip update. Are we yes. ready? Stonks. Here we go. It's time to get it's time to get stonking. Um, so this week, obviously, you know, we've got plenty of millionaires in the group. Um, and uh, oh, what was that? Martin. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I've just got a message. Uh, it's an anonymous text oh. message here. It okay. just says it begins, and then it's it's a code. I think it's probably a probably a dodo code. Um, so it, I guess we should probably. Do you think this is to do with the the game? I mean, I guess so. I, I would have thought that Philippa would have contacted us by now, though, if it was going to be anything to do with that. I think we owe it to the audience to find out what this dodo code is all about. I agree. I agree. Let's, to the uh, airport. Let's get ready. Oh yeah, let's get yeah, let's get ready. Guys. It's time to solve a mystery. Let's go. I can't leave. Oh, it's up the stairs. <laughs> this is my own house. I don't know the way out. Oh my god, this is very exciting. This so is Philip, very exciting. Philip has not yet shown up, but we've got a mysterious code. Chat is going chat's chat's going off right now. Warnings, Chi Mapper thinks we might be murdered. Not this time. No, this is Animal Crossing. I don't think anything like that's gonna happen. Oh no, it's KK. KK, I'm coming back later. I'll give you a request then. Okay. Oh. This is very exciting. People I know, people I know, um, people I know, uh, is loving the turnip background. Turnip background was was made for us by Torpor Dust, who's in the chat, and we're very grateful. Torpor Dust making a lot of graphics for High School Club over the years. That's just that's just one of them. Okay, sh shrink, shrinky's off. Oh my goodness me! Right. Wonder where this code goes. Well, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna touch down before me, so you may, maybe maybe you should. I think you'll get there before me because I've got to fly home first. Oh, of course. Okay, okay. Yeah. Going up to the counter. As always, you know, gonna put in the old dodo code via secret. So everybody on the stream right now can just enjoy seeing these lovely social media links. Now, we didn't, we didn't. Um, do a turnip update this week. We've got we've gotten interrupted, uh, but I should say as always, there's a thriving turnip community on the High School Club Discord, and at the end of the stream, we will give a link to the Discord in this chat, the chat for this stream, uh, which we do once a week uh, for people that want to come join us. Where we can, you know, there's a turnip group, there's an item trading group, there's groups for other games, there's a general chat. You know, we're doing our best to move all of the a lot of the various like High School Club uh, chats into one central place or, or or have more of kind of a hub environment on discord so stay tuned and we'll show you that later um ho's giving a shout out to all right mousey who's also in the chat who made animator splatoon team logos to be loads of people making loads of great stuff for us you know it's amazing we're very spoiled so shrinks how's it looking at your airport uh, I am just going to enter the dodo code. So I'm moments away okay, from I... the protracted animation of a plane. <laughs> I am going to try to input the dodo code right now. Torpor Dust is saying there's lots of talented artists nestled within the high school club ranks. There is. We're, like, we're, really, we're really, really spoiled. Obviously, one of them is Philippa, who we're about to visit. Well, I say we're about. To, I say I say we're about to visit. I'm assuming this is where this. I'm assuming. I hope this is where the dodo code is leaving. What if we're? What if we end up going to some rando's island, Shrinky? Well, I have heard about those cursed codes, doing the rounds. Oh, I don't. I don't want that. I get. Sc I scare up, easy. If you turn up, uh, there's no lights on the island whatsoever. Uh, wait, it's how? Just pitch oh, dark. how are people achieving that? I don't know. I think it's probably, probably haunted. I don't want to. If I don't you get want a haunted code in your game, then I know 
they can do weird things with the lighting effects. I know in some of the chats there's like there's 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 a desperate desire to see me play spooky video games, which I like to do. I just like to do it on my own because you know I'm a terrible wuss and uh, need to hide behind things as I play them. Okay, the code is for the almond. I guess you already know that. I do, and I'm getting a bad feeling as my plane descends. Okay. Okay, the game is afoot, says Doodles, Doodles by Ben. Doodles by Ben, of course, one of our founding Twitch subscribers. Appreciate that. Okay, I'm getting the interference. The spookiness has started as you fly in. We're going to check probably again, more, guys. Probably more of the haunted code interfering. While we do this, I just need to know what everybody thinks this week. You know, who is the best Dodo? Orville or Wilbur? My vote's for Orville. Wilbur, you know. Wilbur's got his, you know, he's, he's more handsome though. I won't, I won't, I won't judge. Who's asking people to drop a high school club, asking the subscribers to drop a high school club emoji if they want me to play VR Resi. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing Resident Evil Seven. I'm not doing it. My prices are very high now. What sometimes, sometimes my wife and I, and we've been doing this a lot recently, like to watch uh, the, sh the the reality TV show Ink Masters, and uh, one one of the games that we play is uh, is Martin. Would you get this tattoo if they paid you ten thousand dollars? That's that's how high my standards are. That's the minimum barrier to entry. Oh, Torpal Dust says Will. Will okay, Chew Magma says Will, but it's definitely X CIA. One hundred. Then Torpal Dust giving that a one hundred percent agreement. He he does have that look about him. For sure, we may need someone from the CIA in this stream. So I've been hanging out by the airport because I don't dare go any further by myself. Okay. Okay. No okay. sign of Philippa. No sign of Philippa. Um. Well, I guess i guess that we should look her out <laughs> um okay yeah i feel i feel you shrinks um let's just i'm a bit there's kk he's a reassuring presence very reassuring presence it's good to know that he's there let's just i think i'm a bit spooked I'm a bit spooked, to tell you the truth. There's a giant bear in this. i'm already scared i think that we should i think that we should back off a little bit and explore the coastline Okay. Uh, let's let's just start as far away from it as far away from it as we can. Okay, well we remember this. We've been to the almond a couple of weeks ago. We weren't expecting to come back to to somebody's island quite this soon. But you know this the the invitation to play a game. Yeah. Was too much to resist. I was hoping maybe we'd be doing some balloon popping or, you know, fishing, fishing tourney, would be oh. fun. We know Penelope. Look at this. Return visit. She doesn't seem too distressed. She's telling me that her schedule for tonight is packed. She's got a monster movie on TV, a video game to play, music to jam to. All nighters are okay a couple nights a week, right? Okay, I don't think... She doesn't seem suspicious. I don't think... I don't think there's anything here. But it is amazing to see Philippa's, like, workshop area because I don't think this was yeah. developed last time we were here. I don't remember seeing a climbing wall here before. Definitely amazing for visitors. Little beachside paradise here. Okay. Okay, nothing. Okay, we've got a villager at home. Lovely. It's Plucky. It's Plucky. Should we visit Plucky or do you want to carry on for now? Let's just try and get the lay of the land a bit, I think. Okay. That's... Lots of... Um, I mean, there's about a million more flowers since last time we were here. So, yes, yeah, Torpor Dust... Such a, such a rich environment. Torpodos asks, is this the first return trip? It is the first return trip. Yeah, um, we're planning to do some more. I know that um, for ooh. example, our first guests... Uh, oh, beware. So, okay. That... This is... This This seems like a clue. This, this seems like a clue. A clue for what, though? Can you talk to Miranda real quickly? Oh, I haven't met her before. Okay. She she seems she's acting all nonchalant. She's acting she's saying she's happy to meet me. I find her a bit sinister to take the truth, especially seeing she's walking around this well. I mean, so anything's think... gonna seem sinister when it's near a well. So what do you think of this? What do you think this means? 
Well, I think it means this is a dangerous well and you should stay away from it. Dangerous because it's poisoned or dangerous because it's, it's you know, a, a falling hazard? Well, I mean, yeah, either. I don't know why it'd be poisoned, but um, even a regular well is a, is a danger if it doesn't have a racing over it, if you ask me. Yeah, game devs. We've all seen The Ring. We've also... Oh, God, I'm running. Okay, who lives here? Just getting away then. Hornsby. Hornsby, okay. So we know who's who, who's where. He's Hornsby's got a barbecue in the backyard. Uh, so let's finish the coastline, I guess. Good place to look for clues and recipes. And star pieces, star fragments rather. Okay, oh, it seems true. pretty. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was a clue, but it's just a lovely, lovely outdoor. Lovely outdoor. Uh... Oh. oh, we okay okay oh. oh god oh god this is a crazy kind of spa <laughs> this guy looks very relaxed oh wait there's a sign this is i mean who how did they write the sign that's a well i mean i mean i'm, I'm quite disturbed at the moment so you know i know i know this is a visual podcast but just to just to set the scene there's a puddle of blood, scattered bones, yeah. a skeleton behind it, behind bars, and a sign that asks, "Who killed me?" Now, I think you're right to question: Is this, is this a message from, is this a message from somebody, somebody else? Is this a message from the person behind the bars? Too early to say, but I'd say there's something up. I'm going to put out, go out on a limb and say there's something strange about this. <laughs> I'm going to write this down in, in my in my list of clues. I haven't seen this before in Animal Crossing, so I don't think Nintendo put this here. <laughs> is, it, there's a, is there another way out, actually? So I just assumed there wasn't a way out. There's another way out. Not that I've found, no. Oh, my pet Roxy's okay. joined the stream. Good evening. Please help us solve this mystery. It's just got a bit yeah. creepy. Every, Any... Everyone who's who's watching, please, um, you know, between us, we have got two hats and we've got two brain cells. That's right. So we've got to... more brain cells to, to contribute. These might be the fiercest looks we've ever had on this stream, actually. And we did do, we we have been both been to Tootle Bay. Uh, should yeah. we go up? Yeah, sure. Let's continue to have a look. So we know somebody's been moided. This person's got... not in and I can't read who it is because on the sign. Is that a clue? <laughs> this person's left their laundry. Is it dirty laundry? Oh, that's a good clue. Are you sniffing it? No, that's clean as a whistle. Just checking. Yeah, it's all good. They've probably used some, maybe even Febreze. Uh, in, what's the word? Oh, there's a skull on this door. Uh, is, is this, does the skull represent something something untowards? Or do we think it's just, just somebody who listens well, to, listens a, to a metal? Potential potential getaway vehicle up here oh the scooter with the light already on that seems suspicious to me yeah so that means it's ready to go at any moment torpor dust has spotted the uh spotted the parabolic parabolic antenna we get a better view of this of this uh this uh, horrible Ooh. scene that we spotted from up here yeah um yeah welcome aboard to, to clams casino i hope i'm saying that right it says it's their first stream with us welcome please help please lend us your brain power as we try and solve this mystery oh there's something going on in the distance maybe can you see that beach party. yeah it might be just a nice beach but oh. that doesn't that doesn't look like a beach party to me how do no. we get over there can you edge around this cliff any further can I, wait if, if we back up i might be able to jump yes oh nice oh but that, that's it real um zelda vibes now oh yeah <laughs> go, go off road and go down this shall oh yeah sorry did i bring my ladder i did good i had to do a massive last minute thanks to everybody that helped me um sell my last minute turnips today actually should uh, that's another big benefit of the turnip group thank you everybody you spend it all on ladders uh no actually you know i obviously didn't make a big profit but i didn't make a loss thanks to the emergency last minute sale Oh, there's a very nice campsite there, which I got distracted by. Oh, right. God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I shouldn't let you go in here by yourself. Uh, this is a... Uh, this is... I don't think this is a barbecue. 
Ooh. I mean, I think I, I think I gave Philippa this this skull radio. So, who knows what's happening here? So, there's. I mean, where do we start? The, well, the Philippa, we, yeah. If you get close to this dress, there's actually a message on it. Oh God! Let me get and let me says, get the phone out. Can you? Maybe I'll go on the other side so you can see. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll come around. And I'll get the. I'll, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so soccer band style. Let me get the camera out. So it says. Brace yourselves, everybody. It says the Waluigi dress. Where? Where, where the Waluigi, Waluigi dress. dress? We know Philippa loves Waluigi. Do you think this is a clue? <laughs> I mean, all signs point to clue. If this isn't a clue, then I, I don't really know what would be. Uh, so there's a let's just let's just let's just take uh, let's just take yeah. mental note of what's here. Okay, obviously there's a ton of fire, bonfires, a black this skull. Rose, this rose sitting in the centre of the table, it could just be for decoration. You know, it's important to keep your, what I'm guessing is a kind of altar, uh, looking pretty, but maybe not. Black skull, white skull. Okay. Waluigi dress. That is 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 that actually the Waluigi dress itself, or is that just an instruction? Well, this this looks like Buffalo Bill's coat. If you if you get my drift, I'm free, I'm freaking out. This is scary. Can we go around the back here? I'm checking this way. Uh, I think I oh, think it just goes back to where side. we've been. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm coming the, back towards uh, you. On the right -hand side. Coming yeah. towards you. Oh no, I can't get back around. This is, I'm scared. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm following you. What? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Now this could be. Oh. A oh. Call, or it could be a clue. Oh. So I'm gonna go and. Oops. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so there's something on the beach. Thing. There's something on the on the on the rear beach as well. There is something. Yeah. I just wait wait for you to dig this though. Ah. Oh. Mama says don't split up. I'm not gonna. No, it's not happening. It's just a. Re oh, it, you're just it, stealing Philippa's fossils. It's just a fossil. I'll um, I'll put that back. <laughs> Everybody saw that oh, he yeah. did. He did. He only popped back. He only only popped back like a like a used tulip or something. Um, yeah. Okay. So it looks like. I mean, I want to say. So the beach is covered in red roses. A Waluigi staple. Yeah. It, in, it's, uh, in Mario Tennis, at least. It says, she will kill again. So we're looking yeah. for a, f a female perp. Yeah, well, I can well, say, let's well, uh, write this. Yeah, well, who, yeah, exactly. Exactly, who's writing, you know who's writing who's writing this? Uh, can we go more this way? Oh, there's something over here. You know, this, is where, this is where Red usually likes to rock up. So maybe that's something to do with it. Who knows? Oh, my God, not Red. Oh. Yeah, there's something up here. Something really fun up this, this hill. Should we? Can we make it up there? I guess we might have to use our sure, ladders. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Now my ladder's out. I can't put it away. It's uh, creepy. Okay. Right. Okay, so there's a black, there's a black skull Ooh. again. Oh, another another skull. This time he, on a yellow board. Yeah, that suggests to me something like poison. Oh, in fact, putting, putting the clues together here, um, all these chemicals and... Uh, pots stinks of poison to me in in both ways this is definitely is a poison lab but what's the uh, what's, what's the what's the um, amber the amber insect for maybe the poison gets extracted from that yeah under day but says the case has been cold for a million years <laughs> oh god anything else oh, and actually, yeah look on the ground there are two tracks oh yeah let me get the camera out feet. let me get the camera out can you see those, everybody on the stream? Can we see those? Oh yeah, they look like they look like yeah, they for sure bird feet, dinosaur feet. <laughs> I hope it's. I'm not. I'm not fighting a dinosaur. Got some canisters. You know, a giant chicken. You're happy to try and take that on. Oh yeah, I'll fight a giant chicken. A giant chicken any day of the week. I am a giant chicken, so it takes one. I know its weaknesses. <laughs> Now I know down here. I think this is this is f this is uh, Lulu, Lulu's house. Fa father to Philippa's children, three children. Shout out to, shout out to the twins. Oh, there's a there's a 
there's a skull down here. Yeah. That is a dinosaur skull, uh, interestingly. Hmm. But then this is just a graveyard, so maybe yes. that's fine. Maybe that's fine. I haven't got the uh, the Western Stone yet, so I'm jealous Ooh. of that. There's more back here, though. Okay. I'm seeing a, another beware sign that's different to the one we saw before. Oh. At the beach. Okay, let's go down. Great uh, jumping. I have to keep reminding myself that I don't think you can get harmed in Animal Crossing, but I'm still freaking out. Um, okay. You can get psychologically harmed. Now, for those... For those so, so, okay, so let me just get my map out for a sec. So for those who aren't familiar, uh, Philippa and Luke live together. This is what Luke looks like. And then look at this. So that, that looks like Luke, right? It really looks like Luke. Do yeah. we think Luke... Is Luke the one behind the crimes? Or is Luke being told not to go any further? What is round here? A, a, a well. Deep water? Maybe. Do you reckon that's connected to the poison well on the south of the island? Well, I don't, I don't know if that that well on the south of the island is poisoned or not. But well, I think I think that's seem to be thematically connected for sure. I mean, but there's a lovely bench out here for maybe it's beware the lovely view, the lovely oh. sea view. Oh, imagine stargazing on this bench, David. Yeah, it's, it seems lovely. Oh my god. So Ho says, uh, 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 what did she miss? A spooky ghost made her computer crash. Uh, we found, oh, I think, tricky. depending on when, when you dropped, we found a poison lab, or what looked to be a poison lab. Uh, we found a gravestone with a skull next to it. We found a bird's feet in the poison lab. And we found this sign, which we think is either telling us to be, to be afraid of Luke or... Keep him War away. From warn him coast. away. Well, I think I, th I think this is his house, David. I think last time we were here, this was pretty much a hovel. It was, yeah. It was a bit of a state, to be honest. Let's go in. Are you daring to go in? I'm going in. Go? The, the lights are off, so I'm guessing it's safe. We haven't had time to call in forensics, so we're going to have to do this ourselves. Uh, okay, the, the lights are off. Oh, Shrinky, please come in. Shrinky, please I'm come in. Way. Well, I could see that Luke's bags of rubbish are still on the floor, at least. But there's a that's message. That's on the floor. I know. There's a message right at the back of the room. Can I turn the lights on? I don't think we can turn the lights on as guests. <laughs> no, I think it's pretty. pretty oh my god, this is so creepy. So there's a sign here. Now I don't know if this is a clue, anything to do with this mystery, or if it's just what he likes to have on the wall anyway. But it says, <laughs> um, "I've been poisoned. I'm dying." Oh my goodness me. And then okay. what behind is that, that what it says, the... I will bring my skeleton back to life and leave clues. What? what do you reckon, Martin? Do you reckon this has anything to do with the mystery? <laughs> Even that, oh, he's just a really big fan of esoteric art. Sorry, I got distracted for a second because for some reason there's a bee day with a shower over it right here. Do you think this is a clue? Or is this just, a, just an indication of Luke's deep perversions? I don't think it's perversions necessarily. If, if you do think you've been poisoned, then having a shower, oh, of course, uh, being able to clean yourself thoroughly is uh, perhaps a good thing. There's, wait, the Mona Lisa is here too. What gang? Can we identify? Is this the real Mona Lisa? There's also some creepy wind chimes being somehow moved by an unknown air source. There's cogs in the corner. Okay. Oh, there's a yep. skull. There's a skull up Sammy here. Sammy in the chat had noticed that there's wind indoors as well. How weird. Maybe it's Luke's ghost. Maybe Luke's ghost is talking to us. Oh, no. I, I, I hope that's not the case. Hopefully Luke's still just... He's just popped out. No, I'm pretty I'm sure... sure. A rational explanation no, no, no. no. There's a ske the skeleton in the waterfall. That's got to be him. No. Look at the hand. That. The handwriting matches. <laughs> that is true. The and handwriting the matches. Naming. We yeah. need a we need a Ouija board stat. Um, you one from your catalogue. Oh, oh God, I, w I wish there was a Ouija board in the game. So yeah, there is there is the um, he's got a fortune teller set and the black skull is here. That's true. There's also a white skull up on top of the uh, this cabinet. That might be him. He was dressing in that, getting ready to be a skeleton. Right. Do we reckon there's anything? 
Are we Are missing we something? Are rehearsing to be a skeleton? I mean, we've got. A, I mean, I'd say we've got some pretty clear clues. Well, there's also fruit scattered around here. Are we, it's a bit of a dump, but then. How, yeah. Sorry, how is there wind inside? That's what we're all wondering. This is really creepy. I actually can't see a wind source. Oh yeah, look here we go. Here it is. Here's the source. This indoor air conditioner. Oh, okay, 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 Both okay. 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 I mean, it's just making the trash smell. <laughs> it's wafting right around. Yeah. Oh, Luke. What a creepy house. Oh, it'd be creepy. Oh dear. Oh, What's here's another. Here's another amber. Chat, by the way. Oh, in in the chat. So who thinks it's a ghost? Depot agents asking, "What if the skeleton was removed from the cage?" People I know think it's one hundred percent a ghost. Sammy says, "Make sure that one of you looks at the painting at any one time." Oh god, it's so freaky. People I know also thinks maybe the maybe the the source of the air might be the parping. Sorry, that was me. Oh yeah, and me. Okay, I think we've. That might also explain the fetid smell in here. <laughs> I am leaving. Uh. Okay, well, that was an experience. Well, I, I am, I am afraid of no ghosts. No, no, I am afraid, afraid of ghosts. This, this doesn't work. The more that you, the more that you, 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 uh, you amend it, I just scared off an atlas moth by accident, which is the real horror of the evening. Yeah, I mean that's just my, my raison d'etre. So, okay, so. Yep. Taking this all at face value, mm -hmm. Luke is has been killed. That's oh, a big shame. We've um, known for many years. This is a sad time. Yeah. <laughs> Not trying uh, to treat it with the gravitas that we should. But yeah. Right. Wait. 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 So. So. Okay. So Luke. Luke has been. Luke has been killed. But Luke is has come back as a skeleton, and is leaving clues around the island for us. So the sign at the back. Is it warning us? Is it warning Luke or is it warning us about Luke? Is Luke a malevolent spirit? Is Luke even really dead? I don't know, but I'm just thinking maybe it's not poison we've seen, but acid to produce such a pristine ah, skeleton. Maybe. We're getting Fs in the chat for Luke. Rest in peace, Luke. So Gone many, but not forgotten. So many grateful respects there. Okay, well, to be searching the shoreline has led us well so far, so let's Ooh. let's let's do it. Uh, I think I found the perp. I think I found the perp. He's he's eight foot tall. He's blue, and shoots laser flames out of his face. Yeah. Except not today. Oh, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> well, I was actually even more distracted by these flashing signs. Okay. Oh, we're open. <laughs> and I think there's another clue up here. A, a clue behind the swimming pool. Yeah. Wait. Let me get the camera out. The killer is a burk, it says. The killer is a burk. Well, they they are a burk as they when they for killing Luke. Oh, the killer has a beak. Oh, we saw some chicken feet we by did. in the poison lab. We did. Yeah, so there could be a platypus, but they don't have bird feet. What are platypus so feet really, like? They they're like uh, paws, but with claws. Okay. Are there, any yeah. platy are there any platypi in Animal Crossing? Is platypi the right plural? I don't know. I've never met more than one. I love to see a platypus. There's dodos now, right? Are platypus extinct? No, they're, st no, they're still very much alive. I think they're probably not doing great, but um, yeah. So okay. we'll keep that in mind. Oh. oh, it's Snake. Snake's asking if I'm out for a late jog. I'm good friends with Snake. I've been to the almond a few times now. He's telling me, don't forget to stay hydrated. Do you think that he wants to poison me? That would be a good way to do so. There's also a hose here if you wanted to stay hydrated. Ooh, a good murder weapon, the hose. Going into a garden area. Do we look up here? Do we look up here? Oh, I haven't been up here yet. Let's look in, There's let's a look very, here. very pretty garden. Oh, and another skull. A oh, God. Painted Wait, can I get a zoom in on that? Can you see that all right? It's well hidden. Wait, can I, can, you, can I get the camera to? Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, wait, sorry. I'll get the uh, get the old camera out too. That is not... Mm, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you just keep on pressing up on your... Um... Okay. So this thing looks like it's got a beak. 
doesn't look like it's got a beak, but that's... But Luke doesn't have a beak. Do you reckon there are more victims? I mean, it could be. Oh. What have you found? Where, wait, where are you? Just shrinky, uh, don't oh, leave I me. Can't story. <laughs> shrinky, don't leave me. Where are you? Yeah, where? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Uh, huh. Past these, these empty plots. Oh, hello. A pig, a pig beware sign. I think this is Chops knowing Philippa's Island. Look at the door. That's definitely Chops. If you haven't yeah. met Chops I'm before. exploring the island, says Chops. I think Chops I is a true. Chops is a he's like an old fat like Victorian era military pig, right? Yeah. Okay, so okay. so well assuming that all of the clues we've got are accurate, I think this means that this is a threat a threat to the to Chops. There he is, he's here. Chops he doesn't seem too scared, but then he does he he is, you know, like a brave a brave uh, soldier type. He might also be signalling to you. He might be. He described it as paradise. Do you think that's a clue? Milton, paradise lost? The thing is, it does seem like a very nice island. So I don't think that was... Uh... Well, I mean, Midsummer is a very is a very nice village. I was talking about Midsummer Murders, not 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 Midsummer the movie. Oh, What's this? What does this one say? It says I'm, water, please. I'm colourblind. I actually, actually can't read this one. It says water, please. And it, there are three objects on it. Could be plants, but they might not be there. One's purple, one's yellow, and one's red, I think. Okay, I think she just literally wants the uh, some watering done. Do you have a can on you? I don't. Oh, I see. yes. Do I have a can? I don't have a can, but, you know, this wouldn't be an Astown stream without me showing everybody that I have several trees on my inventory. Snapdragon SK says, Midsummer Murders would be a wild crossover. Oh, imagine that. I think I, mean, I, I, may, I may have mentioned this on stream before. Apologies if I have, but... My wife, sorry, mentioned her about sixteen hundred times every stream, um, is is French, and in France, Midsummer Murders is just called Barnaby. Little fact for you there, shrinks. Do you feel educated yeah. now? I'm just wondering what me watching these plants has to do with the mystery, and if I th I've been taken in. Really? Well, the ro the roses are a central, are a key. Roses Wait. do seem to be dotted around the murder sites. That's true. That's true. It is making me. Spend some time looking at these roses. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if we've been down to the bottom right of the island yet. Okay, has anybody gotten a blue rose yet? Speaking of mysteries and... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Plants growing on the beach. Pretty weird. Look at this. Okay. No clues. Okay, I think we can, well, we saw that skull. Who knows what that could mean? Okay, we haven't really explored here yet. Look at this, lovely. I think, actually, I do remember seeing this before. I don't think this is a clue, but it's a nice place to have a nap oh. during a mystery. Sure, uh, people I know wants to see all these wonderful, wonderful uh, images of us, so we'll get we'll get us in the flower bed for him. It's kind of creepy now I look at it like we've been laid to rest here. Sammy's shouting out the gardening club. Yep, shout out to gardening club on the Discord. There ain't no club that waters more more plants on the internet. And uh, if you join the Discord later on in the stream, um, oh, look at these. I almost don't feel like I'm in the middle of a murder investigation. Okay, this is the nice part of town. Th this is yeah. just like Midsummer Murders. This is the this is the nice Middle England facade that looms over dark and dirty murders. Oh, well, it's a bit like um, a hot fuzz as well. Oh, hello. There's a rose here. Is that a blue rose? Purple rose. It looks more purple than blue to me. It doesn't look like it's a clue. It might just be a flower. Yeah. Pocket Pods calling out, the, calling out umbrellas in the cosmos. So pretty. I think that's flower chat. Well, I think they're literally, literally umbrellas, aren't they? Which it didn't occur to me. I, d I thought, oh, maybe those are, gi those are the giant plants, but they're not. They are cleverly curated other items. Just having... Oh, the, uh, look. Hey, look, the album's got a new flag. Yeah. Is that some kind of biscuit that I don't know? Or maybe it's Nougat. Oh. Oh, it's Nougat. Now, we've been to Luke's house, but we haven't been to Philippa's house. Is that up here? Is this yeah, this is, is Philippa's house, I think. I have 
when we last visited, this was much, much, much sparser. In fact, oh, let's come back to Stonehenge in a sec. Okay, Shrinky's going in. I hope this isn't as creepy as Luke's house. It's still lovely. Am I pronouncing I nougat incorrectly, by the way? Is that how you pronounce that? Is it nougat? Is it nougat? Well, I've been saying nougat. Is it is is it a, is it like an American British thing? Do we say nu, nougat? Ah, uh, hose. Ho's one of the most. Ho speaks pretty properly, and she says it's nougat. She magma thinks it's is also agrees to nougat, but he he he. He's phoneticizing it in a different way. Okay, so this Philip has Philip has living room. There's a, there's a lot more bears than last time we were here. Yeah. Oh, this clock! Look at the this is the diner clock. Oh, it's brilliant. I'm dying for that diner clock. And look at that poster as well. Love that poster. But we're not here to do an island tour. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. Sorry. So let's uh, let's look for more. Unless this no gnome, through. unless this gnome over here has done it. What do you think, Stream Team? Um, let's, uh, let's go in this one. Okay. But the question for the team is, okay, in America, Depot Agent says in America they pronounce the T. Nougat, which I think I know from that year that that um, that Madden was sponsored by Snickers and I ate so many Snickers because of the in-ad advertising for the game because I'm an easily led idiot. What can I say? This is a brilliant kitchen, but this... I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's a skull mug. Look at this. What's that? Oh, this. Whoa, whoa, this whoa, whoa. The yellow, a yellow skull mug. It's still steaming, and there's some just freshly popped toast over here. What? Did, where do we see? We we saw the yellow. The yellow skull sign was at the poison lab, right? Yeah. Do you think is Philippa? Wait, is someone trying to fit poison Philippa? Is Philippa making the poison? I is Philippa know. making the poison? I also. Mean, I'll, Somebody could have invited themselves round and said, oh, I'll just make you a cup of tea, Philippa. And then started doing that themselves. Maybe. Maybe Philippa decided that she wanted more room on this island for herself. I also have to leave this room because it has a red mocha pot and it reminds me of the time that a a uh, a, a, fa a family a family member uh, melted the handle of my red mocha pot. Makes me very sad. Anyway, enough about me. Depot yeah. agents hopes that Philippa isn't a poisoning murderer because uh, because she let me sell turnips on her island once. She is a, she is a good egg. The thing is though, I know Philippa really well. You know, I you know I used to play on a Splatoon team with her, and I can tell you that she's pretty murderous. I can't deny it. I love her, one of my best friends, but she's pretty murderous when the chips are down. Although, as we all as we all know from from uh, from Twitch, when she appears, her username is now Chillipa and not Killipa. Mm. Um, I think a lot of that is due to the the three lovely babs that she's had since chilling her out. I, but I imagine on Splatoon, she probably still is popping people left, right, and centre. That room was immaculately put together. So we've got a. Do we? Do we that go in the back or I do? No, we haven't been here yet. Oh, she is still missing. We haven't we haven't found Philippi actually. <laughs> Where is she? I think I prefer Nougat with the T pronounced. By the way. Okay. Okay. Oh look, it's pluck it's plucky. Yeah, there post. were a couple of posters. There were a couple of posters in the uh, in the kitchen as well. I think weren't there? Okay, was, plucky. Um... I mean, Plucky's got a Plucky's got a beak and two feet. I'm just saying, two chicken feet. That is true. Yes, because the other people there was, um, well, there was Brewster, in one of the posters. Oh and... wait, well we've never seen Brewster. No. The skull had a beak. In the in the bamboo. That's true. Please don't let it be Brewster. I need Brewster. I need. I've been saving a spot in my town for Brewster to move to to move in. It would be truly, truly upsetting. Well, uh, oh, another lovely space. Oh, hello. More, more birds. More posters. Bird. Yeah. Okay, no beaks. There is the oh wait, there's the bee, the yellow bee. That kind of looks like a yellow skull. The the bee head. Yeah. 
I want to say thank you also to Philippa because she gave us the uh, she gave us the open cardboard boxes recipe for our studio setup that we from our studio move next week. Oh, I think I found a clue. I think I found two clues. Take a look at this. Hmm. Secret is safe with me through the fax machine, and keep sending cash. The question is: Are these messages to Philippa, or from or from Philippa? Whose secret is safe with who? Mm. Is wait. Is is has somebody is somebody so blackmailing let's, someone? Let's put this together here. So we know that somebody with bird feet has been in a poison making area. We know that that there's a skeleton that's human shaped, not animal shaped. Have we seen a skull with a beak motif? We know that there's a mug of hot steaming something with a skull on it downstairs. Maybe that's just a uh, you know a fun thing for Philippa to drink out of. Don't want to guess maybe. too many things. You know. Maybe maybe keep sending cash as an email that Philippa's writing to her publisher. Yeah. Or who knows? Secret is safe with me. Uh, could be a spoiler that she's she's not going to reveal <laughs> until. <laughs> the right time she, she's a trustworthy person that she's a trustworthy person i don't think that she's ever spoiled anything for me and i'm gonna go into the basement now okay let's i'm go. sure it'll be fine and absolutely okay. nothing to worry about because basements were always fine aren't they Ma oh. mary says poor philippa luke's dead in the stress of blackmail hello keep sending cash i think we've found the literal money load i've never seen this carpet before this is this is amazing that's because you've never seen this amount of money before. I've never seen this amount of money. Oh my, how many bells? Can I pick them up? Oh no. <laughs> if we could, we could just get a scarper right now. Oh but okay, this this is this is this this is uh this is this is huge. So Philippa seems to be receiving receiving the money, right? Phil is Philip Philippa Philippa is is the one writing the email? And the fax. Maybe Philippa's Philip is bribing somebody, getting the money, and then faxing them, saying that the secret is safe with her. Why is she faxing that? Uh, maybe to kind of obscure the. Uh... No, I, I don't know. Mediocre, me, me, mediocre says, "You ever think about how bells is all in coins and in bags of coins and never in dollars? So what? Are, what are the dollars on the floor? That's a that's a serious it's, question. Dollars are." International currency, basically, aren't they? Hose clocked me for trying to steal while doing an investigation. You know how justice comes at a cost. At the end of the day. Okay. okay. I, I didn't finish my train of thought about scarpering. We with um, the cash in the middle of we, the investigation. We never followed up on our on. Oh wait, what's over here? Just a henge. Okay. Love this elevated, I uh, uh, forget the name of this fossil, elevated, like, fossil slate. The, the Han Solo oh, yeah. in the carbonite style fossils. Yeah. Fossil. Museum, oh, the, by the way, look at what Phil has done with the museum, by the way. Well, this is not an island tour, but I just want to, like, marvel at this real quick. Look at this. Look how many staircases she's dedicated just to the museum. Yeah, this, this is something else. <coughs> Maybe this is a sign of mad genius. Very lovely. Uh, what's this? Hmm? Look at look at the look at the look oh. at the back. Does the oh. does the museum have a a backyard? Never noticed that before. What is that? Oh, what? No, wait. I don't know. Wait. I don't know who that was in the woods. You know what? You no know, one was joking that the the skull in the woods might be, might be Brewster. Yeah. Check out this. Check out the skull. I think that's Brewster. Do you? Don't you think? I'm having to turn my head. Yeah. Turn turn your <laughs> turn your head like the like the beak under the X X's, and then like the, the his like the like like um. That's, it's not got a moustache, but you know the kind oh, of. Oh, I'm seeing it. Yes. Oh, I'm seeing it now. Oh, that's chilling. Oh, Is that Brewster? Uh, oh, like it. It's unmistakable likeness, but I mean, 
Okay. It's too, too grim to think about. Oh my! Oh, whoa, 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 Shrinky, look, look at the look at the campsite. Huh? There's a there's a there's a there's a mug there's a mug on the on the on the table. There is. I can't get down. I'm getting down. I'm getting down. Okay, pocket pod is pocket pod. Yeah, definitely Brewster's stash for sure. Yeah, look another poison mug. This time yellow. What's the difference between the yellow and the because the, the poison at the well had a different color, right? It was like a red sign or a black sign. Am I, I don't going? remember. It was just a beware sign, I think. Okay, okay. This, so both these mugs have been yellow so far. Okay, so these these yellow poison mugs. So somebody's trying to somebody is trying to kill all the islanders, and some people are getting warnings. Some people are being blackmailed. Do you reckon this? Do you reckon the signs are about the blackmail? Because, the, I mean, if they're just leaving around mugs of poison, the killer. You're saying it's blackmail on, on signs. No. Maybe. What haven't we looked at yet? I'm what have... where the um, where the well was? Oh, I think it's down. I think it's down here. I think it's yeah, down this way. There we go. So it's a red sign. A Did red we see the? Okay. Can anyone in the chat remember seeing another red sign? Yeah. If anyone seen is red yellow? Is there something? Is there something we're missing with the red and the yellow? There's also the black and white skulls. Are there any? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, just gonna look, have a quick look at the map. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say earlier. One thing that we haven't followed up on is the Buffalo Bill wear the Waluigi dress clue. Oh my uh, goodness! How can we forget a Waluigi dress? And I've seen I've seen Philippa wear a Waluigi dress, so I imagine, so I believe it's a custom pattern that she's made. Which really? I, I and we know that Philippa is is fond of uh, pro patterns, making pro patterns. Does that mean that Philippa's been blackmailed into wearing the? the Waluigi dress wait, to prevent murders. Wait, wait, wait. Is Philippa the customizer? For those for those that missed last week's stream, the customizer is a is a vandal that's been running rampant across the high school club archipelago, leaving scandalous um custom designs, you know, naughty naughty custom designs in people's able able sisters is closed. convenient isn't it oh. very convenient that it shut just one minute ago oh no guess we're mm. never gonna know abel's just closed okay 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 i don't suppose you've been in there before if you could remember anything i i only know that philippa has a waluigi dress really i only know that we haven't found her yet though actually we no. have not found her. Oh, hello. Look over here. Have you got your... Riff oh, wait. Maybe we could just jump it. Ooh. Actually, I can't jump it. Yoink. Oh, you can jump it. Here we go. Yeah, I did okay. it. Who is the killer? Who is the killer? Who, who are our options here? Let's have a look. I'll use the camera for the for the people at home. So... Okay, Miranda. This is where my knowledge of, of, of uh, villagers' names may be choppy. Well, I'll have a look at the map so we can. I'll read out the names of the. Looks like the next one's Plucky. Yeah, so we've got. If you. Yeah, there's Plucky, Blathers. The first one was Miranda. Blathers, and then we got Chops. <laughs> and then we've got Chops, Chops. And, then, and then Penelope and then Philippa I don't think we've got any oh, reason I don't think we've got any let me go. that's got to be Philippa right yeah oh wait Philippa's in the distance I saw Philippa well, she ran off into the woods she's got an axe oh well let's, let's chase chase we got to chase why has she got an axe she's gone She's gone. Oh wait, I, I saw her. Still see her. Yeah. Off she goes. Okay, okay, okay. Just reminded me of 
the uh, Mario Run game on uh, <laughs> Nintendo Land. I think she's given us the slip. Oh, I think she has. Has she gone down that secret passage? Oh, this, this island is full of secret passages. Yeah. Well, she's she designed this place. She oh knows my god. What did the clue at the DJ booth say again? Was that at the top right, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The killer was it? Wait, what was the the killer? The killer has a beak. The killer has a beak. Yeah. So, so I think I know that it's 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 got to be a bird, surely. Shall we? If we if we're going to believe those clues, shall we? Well, I mean, right, look. Let's go and run run through what we know. Okay, okay. I'm I'm, I'm here in front. Maybe. I'm here in front of the on the. Uh, who is the killer island? Okay, I've got to try and find my way back to you. I can see it. Yeah, it's over that bridge. Yeah, you found us. Let's okay. see. Let's take a moment and see what people in the chat think. Okay, in the in the chat in the chat. Um. Now I, I know that other, I know that other people in the chat have visited this island. So the pe some people in the chat may know. So I don't know what I don't know what to. I don't know. Well, if you haven't visited the island and you're in the chat, yeah. What are your theories? So what are your theories? You need to help us out right now. It looks like. Okay, so it's let, let's let's go through it. There's there's poison. So all the clues we've seen so far. There's there was a well. The well said beware on it. The sign was red with with a yeah. white skull. We found a skeleton behind bars in a waterfall area that seemed that was saying find out who killed me. We then went to Luke's house. Where, no, no, no. We then we then found uh, the kind of creepy satanic message that said wear the Waluigi dress which I which I'm guessing we have flubbed because Able Sisters is closed yes why does it close at 9 every every single day I'm upset that it closes at 9 um, wear the Waluigi dress um, in fact I saw earlier in the chat Maddie says, oh my god, what if there was a clue on the back of the dress? Okay, we saw Blathers, there was a skull behind the museum, although I think it's Brewster. Sammy's saying maybe the axe is self-defense, maybe Philip is scared. Um, what else did we see? We found a poison lab, the lab was producing poison, which we've seen has been scattered not. around the island. One in Philip's kitchen, one in the picnic area in luke's house it did seem that luke was trying to resurrect himself as a skeleton <laughs> the plan the plan was very clearly spelled out i will i will come back as a skeleton and leave clues um, yeah that, that seems to be the subtext and we see people what getting blackmailed we've seen somebody the killer was referred to as a she at some point right yes that's true that is true so and it has a beak. Slightly. Okay, so we've got yeah. we've got Miranda and Plucky. The, both of their posters were in Philippa's house. I'm not sure if that's a clue or not. She will kill again. Yeah, Pocket Pod remembers. She will kill again. Bell's in the basement. Maybe Philippa is scared because she's the blackmailer and not the killer. That's a very good point in the chat. Philippa, yeah, I, that's... I, yeah. I can't see Philippa. Unless it's, you know, she's getting paid for it. And uh, it's uh, a military assignment. I can't see her. No, I, I, I've known Philip for a long time. She is one of the. She is one of. She is one of the most. She is one of the most powerful people that I know. But I think ultimately she probably is. She probably is too smart to be committing the murder. She will probably go for the blackmail. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Assuming the clues are accurate, we know they have a beak, and they're female. So really, it's just down to these between, two, right? Between these two, yeah. Could it be Ozzy himself? We somebody spotted people I know spotted we're on an island that's in the shape of Ozzy. For some reason, I'd lean towards Plucky, sharper beak, like in the um, the beak skull symbol. Um, oh and yeah, very very chicken chickeny feet. Whereas I imagine, well, wasn't there doubt cast upon Miranda at the very start of the stream when, when I was speaking to her? She seemed a little bit too seemed a little bit too. Uh, nonchalant about me arriving on the island you reckon um i suspect we're meant to walk over the holes do you want to risk okay. it 
Who are we going to risk it? Oh, I'm going to risk it for Plucky. Are you ready? I'm ready. Anyone in the... Any strong doubts in the chat? Yeah, in, in, in the chat. In fact, should, should I put it to a vote in the chat? Should I put it to a vote in the chat? I'm going to put it to a vote in the chat, everybody. It sounds very democratic. You know, we learned we learned all about you know on on the on the road to our Twitch hats. We learned all about doing polls. So I'm going to put a poll in the chat right now. Oh, someone's saying, but Plucky's a boy, isn't he? Pluck, That's wait, Plucky's a, male. That is a good. Oh, question. okay. I didn't know that. Miranda, Miranda. Well, I mean, I guess Animal Crossing villagers never really tell. They don't really communicate their gender, do they? I'd say no, that. No, no. I'd say that Miranda is wearing. A dress, not that that means anything, but Miranda seems to be p potentially. Yeah, throwing everything into doubt. Oh, sorry, I, I got, I got, I got distracted by that new piece of information. Didn't write the poll. Right, poll's coming up. Who done it? Miranda, Plucky, who, who has been revealed. Maybe male. Oh, we're getting confirmation. Plucky is a girl. Plucky's Plucky's female. Okay, okay. I'm by mediocre. Rowler. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We got blathers. We got chops. And we got Philippa. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna the vote the 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 poll is gonna go live now for one minute, everybody. One minute, the poll is live on the chat. It's who done it? Vote in the poll. We need to know. So you, so you, you're more to so, so shrink. So you're less trusting of Plucky, right? Yeah, for me, the clues would point to Plucky. I, I, I mean, duck it could feet. also be Blathers. Duck have the same foot structure, right? But they have webbed feet. That's exactly what I'm thinking. So that's why that's why I go towards Plucky because of the chicken feet rather than the web feet and the pointier beak rather than the wider flat bill of a duck if we okay. take illustration on the ground to be okay the, po the poll's about half done but i can i can reveal that chops has the least votes nobody think people think chops chops is innocent someone's voted for blathers blathers what a dark tail this would be no way it's blathers. blathers miranda miranda is getting some last minute votes actually plucky's fighting back it looks like it looks like the poll has ended, and it, Plucky is the is the selection of the chat. Plucky sixty three percent. You want to do the honors? I will. Let me let me get the camera zoomed in. Let me get the camera zoomed in. Here we go. Wait. Okay, we're zoomed in. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Stepping forward. Okay, pick out the bag. Pick out the bag. What's in it? Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> I got so excited, I just dropped it. Fumble the bag. Oh my god, Philip is coming. Philippa. Oh my no, god, Philip is coming. It's a skeleton. <laughs> it's a skeleton. Yeah. Is, that, is it Luke's skeleton? It's a skeleton. Yeah. Philip is there with the axe. Run, run. <laughs> oh, there's no way out. We can't escape. We can't escape. <laughs> Hi. 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 Just no. some friendly chopping. Just <laughs> wait. To we got it right. It's plucky. You did, yeah. It's plucky. It's not me. Yes. I'm just my, this axe is an innocent axe. Don't <laughs> don't worry about it. It's the axe of justice. <laughs> oh, Philippa, that was an amazing. That was an amazing game. We. I don't know if you were listening. But I think I was, we, I was watching. I think we flubbed a clue. I was devastated clue. about the dress. <laughs> no. Do you have the dress on you? You missed the shot. Yeah, I have. Let me find it. You, you missed the shot by like one minute. Yeah, literally one minute. So, <gasps> yeah. It okay, yeah, okay, okay. Right. There's some questions it, coming it, through it, on the it, chat. We'll get to never, them. It didn't occur to me where the dress should mean go and look in the shop that sells the clothes. Okay. Yeah. If you well, if you just, just done it sooner, then it, you, you would have got oh, it. But, um... Miranda, wait. It says Miranda is innocent. Oh. Oh. Well, I find out that, that we and the, the our, our friends on Twitch um, pieced it together, even without that. We had a, that. We the, yeah. everybody was Maddie, sleuthed up in the chat. Maddie did ha did uh, help us a little bit there. You had your extra clue, so. Philippa, amazing. 
amazing thing. Okay, right. Okay, so so if you if you take us around, let's let's go around the islands. You can tell you can did we, you can tell us what we missed. You know what you know what you think what you think we didn't look hard enough on. You know what what you where you think we did well. Oh yeah, David. I've got to sorry. I do have to change change outfits now. <laughs> now so we're the back to the mystery segment is over. Now we're going to go behind the scenes and find out all about the almond in its new state. Here we go. Depot agents is very sorry about your husband, Philippa. Oh, it's all right. I mean, he he, he lives on as a living skeleton, so you know, it's the, still good. He's a, we can he's go a this way. He's a wonderful man. Um. Shrieky, shrieky, chase me around. Help me. Um, I wasn't. Okay, so first question. Well, apart apart from the person sending you their condolences on Luke, um, there were lots of condolences for Luke actually throughout the stream. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, Philippa. Your the children are now growing up without a father. Um, well, they they thought there is just a, there's this a skeleton now, and he's imprisoned for now. But like, I can just move those. Oh, skeleton um, dad! That okay. sounds like a great movie. Um. Yeah, well, I guess we can start with the skeleton, um, because I did I put that skeleton there before I decided I was going to do a murder mystery, um. Because I I'd, yeah, I'd seen your waterfall region. area. I think it, I think it was after we did the first almond stream. I saw your waterfall area coming together with a creepy skeleton in it. And that was that the genesis yeah. of the idea. Yeah, definitely. So I made that, and then. I started making sort of custom things and I made that sign that, which is by the well now being like beware and then it occurred to me that like no one imprisons a skeleton the idea is it's the person that's been in there and then they died and it's a skeleton not that you imprisoned the skeleton um, but then I thought well this is the start of a wonderful tale who imprisoned a skeleton and why um, so that was the start of the story so this isn't a person who was imprisoned and then wasted away. It was a person who died separately, brought themselves back as a skeleton, were leaving clues to their killer, and then their killer imprisoned them to try and oh. stop them. Oh. So um, that's why. And the blood, I mean, that blood was from the original thing. It's got nothing to do with it, really, but I like to think of it as, like, you know, an animal that's been killed there, maybe, plucky killed and sacrificed an animal there in front of the skeleton to torture <laughs> yeah. him something like that you know yeah um so question but, um, from question from me on the well is the is is there something some significance to the colors on the on the on the warning signs no it's just it's just a normal like beware sign and the other one is just more to like yellow so it just gives the impression of like poison stuff Got it, got it, got um, it. And the whole reason for the poison, and then I don't think anyone would have got this, is that almonds can be toxic. Oh, yeah. And can be oh. used to make cyanide. Yes. Yeah. That's um, right. Because I remember people saying it's like, yeah. there's a smell of almonds. Like, if you smell almonds, run. Okay, so this, this is so creepy, it's beyond... <laughs> It's beyond belief. <laughs> yeah, well, there weren't any extra bits here. Like, you, you found it all as the Waluigi clue. I was a bit worried that when you came here, it was going to be too dark to see it. And was, at Luke's house. Honestly, I was managed. a bit... I was legit scared in Luke's house. <laughs> there's a very well, important... There's a very important, important question on the chat about who the blackmailer is. So we'll get. I guess we'll get to that when we get to your house. Yeah, and maybe we should go to my house because you did, you did get... I think you really kind of got every clue... Oh, yes. um, but in my house, you did miss a couple of details. Okay. Um, well, one one detail really that was more of a backstory thing. So you did you did find the Blathers skull. Come on, taking us a bit of a weird way. Here. Uh, you did find the Blathers skull um, behind the not Blathers, sorry, Brewster oh, behind yeah. the museum and the skull that was in the um, in the woods. Oh, the beaky the skull, yeah. Um. So yeah, in my house there's like a something else that links to that that you did you did see it but you didn't see oh. it. Um, so oh. if you come in and go into the room on on the right, room on the right. Okay, this is where I expose myself to everybody on the stream by not immediately knowing my left and right. <laughs> this is it's true. I sometimes I have to put my you know hands up to make the shape of an L. 
Okay, okay, Why this room. Your... Oh, sorry. Oh. So it's quite subtle, but when you when you turn the camera around, you've got their posters and a sort of mini shrine with the candle, the black roses. You've got your box of tissues there for a little bit of mourning. Um, and because oh. obviously I'm being blackmailed by the killer, I know about the, the murders, I know about the death. So I'm sad about these two that have died, and that's their skulls. See, I'm, such a, I'm such a Brewster fan. But I just thought, well, of course you'd have a poster of Brewster on in your, in your house. <laughs> Who doesn't? Of Brewster you have a Brewster shrine. <laughs> God, I'd love a poster of Brewster in real life. Okay, this is very sad. This is very sad. Yeah, and you've got your sad music as well. Oh. Um, this, this is the morning room. Yeah. Oh, what's so the creepy do, doll I mean, about? Luke's just not there. <laughs> it's just <laughs> obviously a fan of teddies and dollies in this it. house. Actually, this doll's—I wouldn't say this doll's creepy. This doll's pretty cute. It reminds me of the uh, the, the Japanese mayo baby. You know what I'm talking about, chat, right? The Japanese mayo baby. You know, you two know, know, right? One. Yeah, yeah, mayo yeah. baby. So other than that, creepy. I think you kind of got everything. The confusing thing about the fax machine, and I don't oh, yeah. really know this either, is is when you send a fax. <laughs> <laughs> which i've probably sent about three faxes in my life what i love about this um, is it's very rare you know like obviously you know it's i don't you know we don't often get to feel like young sprightly young things but the fact that we don't understand how to use a fax machine well philippa what what, what is it you don't understand about it when you when you send your well your so everyone doing this this murder mystery is confused about am i sending or receiving that message and it's yeah. nice to make you know that it makes it a challenge as well but to me the fax machine that i used to use in one office a long time ago was that if you put you put your thing in the top and then yeah. that's to send a fax and if you exactly. receive it it's coming out the bottom oh. that's really that's true that's completely true yeah but it's like, who knows that? And even uh, when I was sending faxes, then it was right, like outdated. Yeah, only the boomers would know. And I don't think I've had anyone of that generation come and do this murder mystery. No. But it kind of adds adds to the question. And then you've got the cash that kind of confirms that I'm receiving it, possibly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's good. It's good for it to be a bit vague, anyway, right? The duck tails, well, exactly. You want you you don't want to be able to piece it all together. I mean, we got. I mean, we basically got lucky with with Plucky. Well, we didn't get lucky. The chat, the chat helped us. Plucky does look a bit suspect, to be fair. Well, yeah, and to be honest, the reason it had to be Plucky was because I never liked Plucky from day one, and she asked me to leave once, and because I was. You know, I wasn't really paying attention. You know, sometimes you're just like blasting through like the conversation. You're not even really reading it. And then I realised I've just said to her, "Don't leave," and she yeah. asked me to leave. Stay forever. I was devastated. Yeah, I I just caused myself to say like, "Oh no, please stay. Hold on a second. <laughs> no, too late. She'll never leave now." So I framed. <laughs> sorry, not framed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it looked like she's a killer. So you, the people we're going to go and report her. To, to Isabel straight away. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. People always says, "So you turned her into a murderer?" Yes. Disgusting. This this the almond. It's got a rotten core. Okay. Oh, that's another question I've got. The flag is the flag nougat. No, it's meant to be an almond finger, but I didn't. It looks like a plaster, and my three-year-old daughter said it looks like a plaster. And anyone who hears me say. Oh, it looks like a plaster. It's like, yeah, it looks like a plaster. So I, but it's it's not easy getting a good representation of an almond finger. Your original almond flag, you know, it was it was iconic in its own well, that right. Was, it was. Maybe that needs to come back. <laughs> no, this is too good though. The I mean, weird wrinkly stack. It's got. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, sometimes flags look like other other things. So sad that we didn't get to go see Able Sisters. Oh, I know, because that's the best bit of the whole murder mystery, really, when you when you realise the, there's a secret message. But, you know, whatever. You've seen the dress. Yeah, thank so, you for modelling for it. The dress, the dress is fantastic. Philip, also the almond has, like, changed so much in just a few short weeks. I think, when did we, did we come to Almond yeah. week, week two of this stream? Week two? And we yeah. Now, yeah, and I've moved a lot of houses. It was already very impressive, and now it's just every every square is is uh, carefully curated. 
Well, there's a few areas that are a bit messy, like there's a lot of kind of bits where I'm just chucking flowers down to get them out of the way. Um, but yeah, I think most things have moved or been added to since you were here before. But then I got terraforming as well, and that I did sort of get carried away with that too. I'm currently in a carriage, getting carried away with it. Can we uh, go and have another nose round Luke's house? Yeah. Yes. That was my favourite bit to do. Luke's house is like just... the, for me, that felt like it was the, you know, the big, the big moment. I felt like when we came to yours, we were forensically kind of looking for information, but Luke's was very much, hello, Snake. <laughs> Luke's was very, was so creepy. Yeah, because my house, like, Luke doesn't, like, play this. Um, oh, wait, I've got the wrong way. Mainly because mainly I've just taken over his account to do this. <laughs> but, like, my house is still just, like, I'm trying to make it nice and stuff. Yeah. And then there's just a couple of clues hidden in. But Luke's is just purely for this now. So I just really went down. He's been given over, given over. Oh, uh, people I know is commenting on. Philip, I don't know if you, I don't know if you've watched the stream for the last couple of weeks. I, I, I know, I know you, I know you. I do. I tend to watch it at the beginning, and then I have to put all the various babies to bed. So you might have missed uh, Ryan referring to the um, the the bamboo. You know the bamboo toy that breaks open, and there's the little little ba oh, little yeah, babs yeah, in yeah. there. Start to refer to those as Philippa babies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that that's what um, Robin, my daughter, calls him as well. She always she'll watch me play it, and then when she sees those, she she wants to go. She wants to see the mummy. Oh, <laughs> it's a baby, but it's mummy. Bless says. her. So this, so from from you know one of the world's cutest things to one of the world's creepiest things. We're here in Luke's hovel. Very different <laughs> from the last time we were here. Lots of very strange things going on, like this shower b-day situation <laughs> shower or, or i mean wash the top and the bottom at the same time <laughs> very efficient there's a, is a skeleton of a rat or something down here that's... yeah that's a fossil um Maybe. one of the, i can't remember what it's called um yeah and i've tried to make this area i mean i don't quite know what the technique was that he used to bring his skeleton back to life but i've tried to hint at like you know magic but also technology, yeah. a combination. Yeah. Well, it involves cogs and one of those uh, plasma bolt, um, plasma balls. Yeah, a bit of electricity, a yeah. little bit of a steampunk vibe, um, a bit of kitchenware as well. You've got your arts and crafts and a little bit of the old, uh, yeah, a little bit of voodoo or some other kind of, I mean, the tarot cards, aren't they? So, so we just probably had a little consult with those. In, in the lore of the, uh, of the story... Am I right in thinking that Luke couldn't solve the mystery while he was slowly being poisoned, and so his plan became, "I'll become a ghost so I could find, <laughs> so I could find out." I mean, I think the way I was seeing it was just that he fully knew, and he was leaving clues because it's like, "I'm already dead. I'm not just going to tell you. Here's some clues." But your version <laughs> actually is, is better and makes more sense. I like to look, tricks to Luke. He just he just dies so he could leave people on a bolt on a. Murder history. Just oh a yeah, the skeleton. Oh, sorry, say that again. Just a cheeky skeleton who wants to enjoy his afterlife. Uh, you look at him. He, he's got that vibe about him, trickster, like cheeky trickster. The skull, the skull helmet. It was that one of Luke's like prototypes as he was trying to turn himself into an undead skull. Yeah, I think skeleton. maybe it was. Yeah, that was maybe he thought that, that skull wasn't realistic enough. And then you've also got the the body in the corner which I like to think of as, like, the rest of his body. He left oh. his muscles and stuff behind. Mm. Only the skeleton is needed. It's got, he's, it's got a cute little face like Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Try to zoom into it. Yeah, look at that. Not, not nearly, not nearly uh, devilishly oh, sexy enough. Oh, the, we also love the creepy wind that's that permeating yeah. the, uh, the flat. The, fl the flat, the, bung oh, yeah. the bungalow, the shack. How would you describe this? And when you have the sound on, that kind of provides a sort of annoying noise as well. It's sort of, yeah, it's the, a lot of movement in this room. It's, it's probably the creepiest room that we've been in, uh, and and that we, we've been in a few creepy rooms actually during the stream so far. I remember Dim also had a very creepy, witchy room. I think this yeah, is yeah, the, that witchy room was great. This is the grottiest creepy yeah. room. Yeah. 
this, this is the like, like yeah. a Texas Chainsaw kind of feel for it. Yeah, I went to great efforts to make it so that you would see the I've been poisoned, I'm dying message before you could read the other one. Mm. Yes, the other one, I didn't see it until Shrinks like, highlighted it. So I was I was kind of confused when he first initially said that, but then I'm I was too busy looking at the Mona Lisa, which I think the chat confirmed is the is the fake Mona Lisa. Yeah, it's the fake. How do you tell? Because, well, I tried to give it to the museum. <laughs> I think she looks a little bit stern in this one. Yeah, she's, it's the brows. I think my memory is like in, in New Leaf. I, I think the the detail is different. I think in, it, I might be wrong, but I think in New Leaf is about something to her fingers or something like that. So, uh, mediocre says sassy eyebrows. She's sassy. Mona Lisa ain't got yeah, no this, sassy brows. This is much more subtle. It's definitely a lot more subtle in this one. Like you have to really scour the like images to, to see what the difference is. But Luke clearly loved this piece of art anyway before he died. He did, yeah. Rest in peace. Cool. So is there any is there any is there anything else we should we should be looking at? Oh, I'd like to go see the Blathers skull again. Oh yeah, not Blathers. Yeah, Brewster. I mean, Why well, we all do the this? Wade, the Wade skull. Oh, the yeah, the Brewster skull. Oh, what, that the one. Skull. <laughs> the um, I don't know if I really managed to make it look like Brewster. Like originally, when I first made it, I did it like a human skull. Um, but then obviously, uh, Brewster and Wade both wouldn't have a skull that looked like a human skull. It would be quite different. I so, mean, but I had to change it. The the Brewster one is pretty good. Brewster it definitely stash. looked like it took me a, a, a few seconds to see it, and then suddenly it totally looks like Brewster. I mean, it looks like Brewster, but does it look like a skull? Because I I don't I'm not like a doctor, but I don't think the moustache normally has a bone. <laughs> yes, yeah, the moustache bone. You never heard of that? Well, also birds don't normally have moustaches, so I think in this world. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Maybe it's not a bone. And a, and a, I always think like um, if there was a you know like dry bones and dry Bowser. If there was a dry Mario, his moustache would have a bone. One hundred percent. You can't have Mario without a moustache. Okay. Well, yeah. Let me. Let me. What's the best way to see it? Pop up on the I, just, back. Oh, I guess you can climb up. I, I'm assuming your island won't permanently be kept as a murder mystery tour, but I hope you're going to well, keep. You know, this, uh... I don't know. Well, I hope you're going to keep this 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 back lot for your um your museum because I love the idea of having like a a boneyard out the back of the museum. Uh, yeah, I mean a boneyard like like the elephant graveyard would be amazing, wouldn't it? But oh. um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or what I'm going to do to be honest because I when I made it I really assumed that I would just keep it and I probably move or change that the bit where you choose the killer that can go mm. but um the rest could just stay like it's just there but i don't know because i want to make changes to my island in general i might have some other idea of what to do with it and then it just won't work anymore well luckily um, we've got this recorded record keep... of the mystery yeah yeah exactly like i'm glad that there'll be this video and i do wish and maybe there will be later but like the dream code thing where you used to be able to kind of save one little oh, snapshot, snapshot of your yeah village um and then also have people come without actually having to host them and if people are, are, are still playing new leaf there are lots of dream codes on the ass town web page on the website yes the dream suite the, the dream suite oh, i should find mine yeah yeah get it get, yeah. yeah i mean who i mean who's gonna go go back to new leaf now we've got all this people no. who are going to pay brewster a visit oh that's the thing so this yeah. is the thing when brewster i mean assumingly i'm gonna touch wood when Brewster does arrive in this game, you know, I guess what does that mean for this skull? I mean, we've, we've talked about it before, but I'm I'm pretty sure we're going to see when, you know, we're all waiting for Brewster to come back. I'm personally waiting for gyroids to make a comeback, and surely they're going to come back together because Brewster is, you know, the biggest gyroid fan there is. That's true. Well, I was saying that Tetris, the that um, Animal Crossing theme Tetris. Yeah, ninety nine. Yep. I was playing that today, and when people send that, you, you know, when they're attacking you, 
It's got a little gyroid image. It does. Oh. Um, and I was thinking about that, but then, you know, Lloyd, Lloyd is in this game and is a gyroid, so they could... True, and it actually did have a hat on in the Tetris. It had a little hat, I think. Well, I'm still... Oh, we're um, going to see... I'm going to put my... I don't know. Stick my neck out and say, we're going to see gyroids. They'll be back. They've got to be back. They'll, they'll be it back. Can't and... just be Lloyd. They Speak... know what the fans want. <laughs> And speaking of things that will be back, um, Lou Jane on the chat asks, um, uh, is this going to go up on YouTube uh, because they missed the stream? And uh, Ho's already answered, but yes, it will. Yes, it will. Um, yeah, usually later later in the week. So look out for that. Do we want to... Philip, is there anything else? Before I ask that, is there anything else you think we should see? No, I think, I think you did a very thorough search. I think you've seen every every bit. In which and, case, uh, you did well in spotting everything. Shall we celebrate a mystery well realised by a visit with to KK Slider? Yes, sounds brilliant. I think this is the way. Is this the way? I'm going to follow Philippa. Well, I think you do need to go down with the ladders, actually. Okay. Um, I, I always need to remember to bring not, these. And question this bit is not really meant to be climbed on. As is customary, we normally shout out to the chat for any suggestions for KK Slider. Okay, Ho was in, Ho um, was in before we, we even asked with a KK yeah. Dirge request. I was about to, to say, oh, what, what would be a fitting song for like a, a mystery, murder mystery soundtrack? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. So Ho's suggesting KK Dirge in Luke's memory. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we have Dirge playing in, um, in the spooky area with the uh, Waluigi dress message. Oh, that's playing there so that is appropriate depot agent thinks um agent kk uh 8-bit oh, yeah, is once again course, agent KK. uh 8-bit is once again asking for raining blood the shining pie impossibly the most appropriate request of all is suggesting kk scar one of my favorites kk scar uh well should we put it out to a vote let's do it so let me let, let me get a poll up i'll get the poll up on the stream again if people want to take part in this poll, the new poll is going to be, uh, which, uh, what should we request? Dirge. Song should we request? You know what, everybody, I can't type. And so it actually says, what song should we request? Request. You just gonna have to live with it. <laughs> so KK Dirge, Agent KK. Yeah. What was next? Okay, Raining Blood has been suggested again by Under Date Bit, as well as the Murder She Wrote theme tune by people I know. Um, uh, an another genuine one, KK Scar. Okay, so we've got Gurge, Agent KK, KK Scar. I'm going to put that up, up to a vote. One minute, it's happening. There we go. So uh, I'm going to vote in this myself. Okay, you're voting for KK Scar, aren't you? The perfect way to end a murder mystery. I couldn't possibly say. <laughs> Philippa, if you could vote, what would you vote for? Agent KK, because I can't think how that sounds, so I'm kind of curious, especially for the um, you want you want the record, the special acoustic version too. Oh, oh, I've already got my record today. Dirge is way more popular than I expected. Okay, Dirge is coming up. Well, I mean, if you can't have Raining Blood, you know, go to the next, the next most appropriate alternative, which is KK Dirge, right? So the votes were about a quarter of the yeah, way I'm left, and it is it is pretty tight. Dirge is is declining in popularity. I wasted my vote. Will it get over the line? KK Dirge is, is declining. KK Scar is KK Scar is um making a comeback. And it looks like we're about to run out of time. And it looks like KK Dirge is gonna be it's, it's Dirge I time. Get her wish. Ho, there we go. Depot agent voted for Dirge, even though they suggested Agent KK. Sometimes you gotta go, you know, where 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 your heart tells you. I'm not actually sure I've ever heard KK do the dirge. I've got oh, the. Have you not visited Ho's Ho's Island? <laughs> I must have done. Well, no, I've I've got the tape. I've got the the record of the dirge. Once you've got KK Scar, that's all you need on the old record player, right? Exactly. Yeah. The only record cover that's got barreled on it, as discussed previously. I think it's the only one that's got barreled on it. Let me know if that's if that's a if that's a lie. Deep urgent lose losing their mind looking at Philippa's dress. It is very <laughs> it is very striking. And a shout out to one of Philippa's twins, who I think we can hear in the background. Yeah. 
Devo Agent it's says the, the dress looks like something somebody would wear at a political protest. <laughs> what a statement on the back of a Waluigi dress. Here we go. KK Dirge. Standing to attention. So, gang, it's been another great week in Animal Crossing. I think this is the end of week eight. Week eight with this game. It's been a long time, eh? This might this might I be the first. This might be the first stream that we haven't mentioned uh, coronavirus until now. Sorry, everybody. Um, but it's been really like wild how you know how much and if everybody's been playing this game in lockdown. And how much, like I said earlier, like how much of a cultural breakthrough thing it's been. Everything every day I see a new celebrity on Twitter saying, "Looks like I've got Animal Crossing now." Please help me stay relevant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody on this stream, we you know, we don't you know, we don't we don't seek that relevance because we are that relevance. Am I right, guys? I'm feeling very relevant. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great song, by the way. I'm glad that I'm glad it was uh I'm glad it was was chosen. Will Ho request it again next week? That's the question. Probably. Speaking of next week, we are we're currently working on securing a guest for next week's show. We will we will it will be a brand new island pick. Of course, we returned to an island for the first time today, so looking forward to seeing to seeing a new place. And then, as we mentioned before, as time goes on, we'll start to revisit more of the the islands we've already seen. Like obviously, the Almond today is very very different. Um, and if you're I anything, that, oh, uh, sorry, Ed should... will bring us back, uh, allow us back on to see what's happened to Big Tuna because. He was our very first guest, but he's been working very hard on his island. I know. I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't been back since, so I'm quite excited to have a look. Enjoy look, enjoying seeing his updates on uh, on his Animal Crossing only Twitter account, Capes and Lasers. Mm. I think that's the. I think that I've pronounced. I've said the the username correctly. Yeah. If Ed's so. still in the chat, let me know. If not, um, and I am going to as 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 threatened drop an invite to our discord now so if you're watching the stream and you want to you want to come and hang out on discord with us i'm gonna drop the link now uh shout out to everybody that tuned in i think we have probably the most the most viewers we've we've ever had for this stream yeah, exactly. so yeah uh, obviously murder mystery plus philippa plus kk dirge that's that's the recipe for success Everybody wants me to do the do the outro again, where I get cut off halfway through. We're not going to do it this time. Before before we <laughs> say goodbye, Philippa, where can people find you online? Oh, um, uh, Philippa Rice on Twitter. Um, that's it, really. I mean, yeah, just Google me if you want. <laughs> that's it. Google me. <laughs> just Google <laughs> Philippa Rice Waluigi dress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Shrinky, where can people find you? You can find me at Shrinkwrapped, but as I always say, why not just follow High Score Club instead in various different places that Martin will tell you about now. Uh, you can see the High Score Club, some of the High Score Club social links on the screen. We've got more than that. We're going to update these. We're going to update this this uh, this graphic at some point. I promise. Um, of course, you know you can find me. I'm just going to keep start saying find me on Letterboxd, Steenton. It's the only social network that I regularly update. Um, and if not, Google me. Ooh. Don't actually, there's, 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 there's That's a there's, strong suggestion. Just Google me. I've got a rare name, but unfortunately there are other, other people with my name out there. Less said about that, the better. Um, <laughs> and to wrap up, thanks for everybody that tuned in. Thank you to everybody that's been, that's been, uh, following us on youtube watching the stream there thanks to everybody that comes and views us every week thank you to everybody in the discord for being so fun and lovely every single week and helpful um definitely definitely encourage people to join if they if they're watching and they haven't already um we should shout out the podcast oh yeah if, well, you, are, if you are new to high school club um we do have a, a animal crossing podcast mini series so there's only five episodes so far ass town it's on the High School Club website if you want to check it out. As featured in Edge. As featured in Edge. Um, Shout out to Edge. A critically acclaimed Animal Crossing podcast. That's right. 
that's I'm, I'm putting shrinky in the spotlight Shrink, shrinky produces the podcast and it's fantastic um and i don't just say that because i'm a guest on it um and yeah everybody thank you for tuning in we'll see you next week on twitch 8 p.m saturday night bst where we won't be programming against eurovision um and with hope for our continued growth and to celebrate another week of new horizons this has been ass town good night good night